Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 while we continue our journey with Portugal. So where we left last left off, uh, we were trying to colonize Inyambe, Inyambane, sorry, so we could get to Swahili. Uh, they have a lot, a lot of money. You can see it right here. Hang on. There we go. Over 10,000. So, yep, we're going to try and get uh, Sofala. I'm also going to try and fabricate a claim on Kalimame. Kalimane, sorry. Um, because we want to grab uh, their provinces on the coast and perhaps release Mutapa as well. We are making a bit of money. We have our maintenance at minimum. If we put it up, we would lose money. So, uh, our inflation is at zero. Our trade is not that special. Seven gold per month. We make more money from taxation still. Uh, technology wise, we are decent. The next idea is at level 14. I want to get there as fast as I can because we are going to take another diplomatic idea. This time the expansion. We want permanent cast a spell against less advanced nations in Asia. Asia. I might have made a mistake going for trade first but trade is really important as Portugal as well so it's well it was tricky so uh, our ships are repairing, that's fine. The ship we were making in the Cape is done. I'm going to send them to patrol the Cape of Good Hope. Uh, Spain was formed, apparently. Natives were rising and a Grand Capitan has died. Now we get a Commandant, so that's fine as well. Uh, we could get this guy, but we are already losing, uh, not making that much money to begin with. We have the mission to accumulate money. We need to have 253 gold. We'll take care of it here. Uh, let me see if we have... Yes, we do. So I am actually going to try and find out where the Aztecs are. It's 1518. Actually, no. Let's find out the island that's right there because when we record this we will jump here and that will be our gateway to Asia, to India. Uh, we are also going to try and get Muscat depending on the political situation of the area. So we'll see when we get there how it will be. So Spain apparently built a colony right next to us. And that's fine. As long as it's not here, I couldn't care less. That's fine. Uh, let me see they're okay they are we don't have the modifier from improved relations so I'm actually going to do th that right now uh, diplomacy wise tech okay 12 years still uh, this one we could tech up but we are making the ideas so we will lag a bit behind on on that tech Colonial Ventures. With the discovery of the New World, we have entered what looks like our greatest period of prosperity. Despite immense wealth returning to us, allowing Philip I to finance one of the most outstanding armies in the world. But outstanding, we don't have any army at all. We have not been successful in creating a strong naval force and his attempt to conquer the neighbor neighboring states has so far failed miserably. Invest in the naval force or abandon the idea of naval supremacy? Well. Uh, we are not going to, to take uh, this one because we are making taking the ideas we are not taking the tech right now so although it would be cheaper a lot cheaper than an idea an idea costs 400 the technology costs 390 so it could be good but at the same time I don't think I want that yet so I'm going for diplomatic technology cost I don't care that way our military is up to date so Spain called us to war against whom France of course it was only a matter of time before Spain and France 
put heads together. So this is a war that they have started. They are in a coalition against France. Who else is in the coalition against France? Burgundy, Aragon, Spain and Mali. Alright, so they are going to be attacked from every side. Excuse me, I'm going to join. Because why not? Uh, okay, uh, I have low maintenance in the, the army, but I don't care. So, yeah, let's see the war, how it is. We have, uh, well, we have the, the superiority, although Scotland is allied with France, so that could come, that could be tricky. And I'll have to keep an eye on this side to see if Scotland tries to invade us. I don't think France has a big navy as we do. We could actually check it out. Let's go to military navies. We have the, let's go for total. The Ottomans have the best navy, apparently with 69 galleys, whoa, that's huge. We have the second largest with 8 heavy ships and 18 light ships and 10 transport. I'll, I will have to bump this to 20, because uh, if we are going to the Aztecs, we will need two armies. So, they are actually trying to fight us. Let's see how it goes. The natives are rising. That's fine. And we won the battle there. I want to win this battle right here. This is very important. We need to keep our naval supremacy. So we captured another ship. Good. Now they will return to port and repair. I am actually going to... Uh, whoops, where is our other ship? there it's there I'm considering if I shouldn't uh, re stop this and put this guy in charge of our Navy back home but for now we'll see how it goes this is still terra incognita and we'll put them to go to port to repair as soon as they can so we won the battle, we have another early Karak, which is good, uh, which one was it? Le Protetour, okay. Uh, in score we are 8th, it's not that high, but I'm not going for score yet. The Bay of Belen, okay, we won, that's uh, important. France apparently is exploring the new world and I don't like it our colonies are about to well more or less so we discovered this one now I we are going to repair and then we'll we'll go here to see if we can find the the other the other the island that I'm looking for. So I'm actually going to take them out, out of port and try to fight them again. I hate this bug. Oh, try and catch them there. Probably won't be able to. Alright, let's go to Lisboa. There. Now I'll keep an eye on... keep an eye out here to see if they try to come back down. So apparently, uh, let's see how the war is going. Yeah, they are winning the battles like crazy. Okay, 27 ships. That could be tricky. Let's select our fleet, just in case. Uh, the only support I'm going to make to give to Spain is with my fleet. I'm not going to send the armies to be destroyed and then I'll have to rebuild them. I'm not going to do any of that. And the natives are rising again. Okay, we won. Nothing surprising there. The reformation branches out. Natives are rising uh, yet again. They must be really unhappy. We are about to fabricate the claim on Mozambique. You see what I mean? This, they rose three times in three months. It should be impossible. 
in my opinion. If we break their army completely, they won't return so soon. Let's just uh, do this first before we read that event. Uh, so, your support of the Jesuit order has been noted and is wholly appreciated by the Pope. The order was created in 1534 by the Spaniard Don Inigo Lopez de Rescalde, de Rescalade, better known as Ignatius, Ignatius of Loyola. He was one of the most devoted counter-reformists and enemy number one of the protest movement. movement. So we gain 10 people influence, uh, we can just spend it right there again. That's fine. Claims on our rivals. On Barway. 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 Where is Barway? Barway. Let's find. Barway. So we don't even see it, but we have a claim there. Oh, good. Okay, I can live with it. So apparently France still has troops here, which is a pain in the ass because they can go to Gold Coast. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So turn on enter an alliance. We are going to patrol uh, in Sevilla because our fleet is already completely, completely healed, and there they are. They are here. So let's try and chase them there. 6th of October, 13 December. We are actually going to catch them. Let's hope for uh, calling the damage, some to me. We get, get another idea which I'm going to take. It will give us another merchant and two merchants for the price of one. Good, huh? So, we are going to put one here to transfer the power. And we are going to put one right here in Brazil to transfer trade power as well. This way, more and more will come to the trade node of Sevilla. Okay, the battle it was going well until a while ago. Now it's going poorly. We won the Battle of Belém, and we actually captured another ship. Good. I have no idea we were at battle there, but that's good. We captured the ship, so we have more trade ferrying vessels. Is the battle going to end in our favor? I think so. Their morale is almost down and we won. Didn't capture anything but that's okay. So we are going to port to repair. They apparently stay there. Spread us the reformation. Madeira changed the reformed. That's not so good. Our religious unity is probably right, uh, falling precisely. And it was reformed, it was not protestant, so protestant. Alright, so our ships are being repaired and Itamaraka. Okay. Okay, stop it. You don't need to do that. Uh, this is damn. It's getting tricky. Self-sustaining, awesome. It's excellent, excellent. So we'll core it, of course, and we will send another colonist there. Uh, I know uh, that uh, we need to discover that, because I remember it now. So we are going there. Uh, I'm going to send them there and then here, because I don't want to forget and I didn't put them in port, I think. Maybe I did. It's hard to tell sometimes. Let's see if we can find the French fleet and sink it. I could actually hire a new leader, but for the navy it's always diplomatic power so uh, I don't feel like it I don't feel like spending diplomatic power there while we need it everywhere else so Inyambi is going to rise again good we won I wasn't expecting anything else from our guys and it is actually almost done so I guess we're going to war against uh, Swahili soon so we discovered the Seychelles and this is the island that I want to. So we'll patrol a bit here and try to find, try to charter the island. So uh, where is the French fleet? Right there. So we're going there. Our fleet is repaired and it's right there. They are probably patrolling. Yeah. There we go. We should be able to win, I hope. 
hang on, hang on. Architec architectural development. Our nation is going to be undergoing a substantial development in architecture. Numerous monuments, buildings, architectural wonders and other constructs such as aqueducts and schools have been erected. Support it. Uh, we are going to support it. Right now we are going to. Um, it would mean cheaper technolo technology. Missionary will be a bit harder for 20 years. Hmm. And this for 10. We might actually do this one again. Because if we go and conquer these two provinces, I'm not sure that we will. Let's just see something before I choose. So, uh, the Palatinate entered in a military alliance with France. I want to just see something. Uh, they are Sunni. But this expires in 42. Yeah, no, we are going to, to take this one. We would be able to con conquer it in f between 42 so we're going to take that one and hope for the best this way we could take up a bit faster and easily saving some valuable points so we won again let's this time send the fleet there because apparently they are retreating into their african holdings correct arguin yes there so we will do that we could actually start and make uh, another ideas here but i want to reach level 14 as soon as possible and that might mean that we need to check a bit ahead of time but we'll see we'll see how it goes so french fleet is probably there because we haven't seen it here self-sustaining awesome so we have a self-sustaining colony we're going to call it Excuse me. So now we can let's take this off. Now I'm going to up our maintenance. And what am I missing? I remember now. We need these guys and the revolt risk is zero here. So I'm going to put them into the boat and send them right there. Uh, in the meantime, these ships are still not healed, so I'm going to keep an, an eye on this. Okay, uh, friends, would you take a white piece from me? No. I usually don't like the white piece, but oh, of course, and I forgot that. I forgot our ship, and he actually didn't discover uh, the Maldives, so yeah. Well, it's only one ship, right? But it still hurts. It still hurts. So. Uh, we are almost there we are going for this one again because we don't want to check up and now we'll put it there awesome and they happen to leave at the same time that we did so let's see how it goes we won again and this time we captured two ships good and they are retreating to Kayor Kayor is there so it's there we won't have uh, we won't be able to see it as well but we'll, we will just have to live with it I'm going to send my colonies here because I don't want them to stop ever we already have our second army here with our uh, king we will well we'll leave it like that this one will stay this one will move out and now we are going to declare war against something I don't really care, we'll, we are going to declare the war to take Sofala because it's the closest that we have. Let's hope Ottomans don't join before we move to make sure. Nope, let's just make the month pass and there we go, the Ottomans haven't joined, good. So now we'll put our army there, actually we'll move it here to explore this first tensions between nobles and clergy well uh, okay i'll read it in feudal kingdoms two castes within society held great power the nobility and the clergy now it turns out a, a baron in the local monastery of his fief are bickering about who owns a rather large large piece of land 
These days the royal court is swamped with people yammering about divine right, nobles claiming their divine right to rule the land and the clergy asserting their position as the representatives of God on earth. The whole situation is growing rather unstable. The baron in question is inciting the other nobles against the clergy and questioning their right to hold any sort of temporal poverty. The prior of the monastery has brought in the archbishops on his side who in turn threatens to go straight to Rome should you decide to side with the, nobo to side with the nobles. Now, what shall we do, my liege? Just Jesus leave the monk beggars and fishermen, why don't you? Papal's opinion of Portugal, minus a hundred. Surely we do not wish to hanger his holiness. I'm going for this one. I couldn't care less if the Pope got angry. So, there we go, and we just spent that. Let's see how this goes. Our ships are still repairing, and can we actually, yep, the, the other guy lost his life along with the ship. Sometimes they live, or at least in Euro 3, in Europa Universalis 3, they used to live. Now I'm not so sure. So, uh, oh right, uh, they are trying to go to Ninyambe, I'm going to let them. Let's just slow down that, so 3 of December. Actually, let's try this, 5th of December, so no, stay there, 2, 3, and move, 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 come on, alright, so they decided to retreat, and they are going to Sofala, where we will be before they, I hope. Our diplomat has arrived. Alright, so we arrive there and they will cross and as a matter of fact, this is a, a desert mountain so we have a bonus, an even higher bonus than I expected. Now since I have, since we have a guy with a good, uh, a good uh, maneuverability, we could chase him but he is going to Mombasa, which we don't know yet where it is. So I'm going for this one. I'm also going to recruit a Culverine here. It will take a while, almost uh, six months, but I will be able to, to get him there fast. And of course our ships there are being attacked, so we'll move our fleet there. We lost ships too. It's a good day. Uh, not so good, but well, sure. So we lost two ships and two trade ships at that. Now we'll take revenge on the French ones. In the meantime, our country is free from occupation. I really do hope we got we get the the ships back. Only one, apparently, but they lost uh, a lot of ships. We captured one ship. And it was a character boot, so well, all in all, not so bad. I'm actually going to leave, uh, not leave. I'm going to send them there to repair for a bit. Discovered Zimbabwe. Okay, we'll go there. Utrecht. Enter the military lines with friends. Uh, it bothers me that Swahili as an army able to to destroy the other one. Whoops to destroy the, the second army that I have there. I might... Swahili, not Mali. Swahili. So, right now they don't have it, but they do still have a bit of a manpower reserve, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. So we'll go there. We are still trying to discover. And I'm actually going to take a break here, since we haven't uh, started sieging. We're just discovering their land seeing how far they go before we we start sieging and conquering as it should be so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye